Of all the male archetypes, the Sigma male is definitely the most mysterious and elusive. While the Alpha male is known for his dominance and leadership skills, and the Beta male is seen as a loyal follower, the Sigma male is often described as a lone wolf. The outsider who doesn't play by the rules but still commands respect. Many guys dream of being that confident and independent person. They see the Sigma male as the ultimate alpha, someone who can never be tamed or controlled. But the truth is, being a Sigma isn't something you can fake or force. It's not a costume you can put on or a role you can play. It's a fundamental way of being, shaped by personality, experiences, and core values. For those wondering why they can't simply transform into a Sigma overnight, here are six reasons why it's not as simple as deciding to change your personality. Number one, you can't handle criticism without getting defensive. Think about the last time someone told you that you did something wrong. Maybe it was a teacher, a boss, or even a friend. How did you feel? If you got upset, angry, or immediately started defending yourself, that's pretty common. It's normal to feel like you need to protect yourself when someone criticizes you. But the problem is, when you get defensive, it's hard to learn from the feedback you're getting. Sigma males have a different way of dealing with criticism. When someone points out something they did wrong, they don't take it as an attack on their character. Sure, they may feel a bit uncomfortable, but they can listen objectively and use the feedback to improve. They don't let their egos get in the way of growth. This doesn't mean they don't care at all. They just don't let it get under their skin. If you can't handle criticism well, you're missing out on a big chance to grow. Every time you get defensive, you're basically closing the door on an opportunity to improve. It's like someone offering you a map to hidden treasure, but you're too busy arguing about which way is north. Nobody likes hanging out with someone who can't handle a bit of feedback. When you're always on guard, ready to defend yourself, it makes you hard to talk to. People start avoiding telling you anything that isn't 100% positive and that isn't helpful for you in the long run. This is a big reason why you can never be a Sigma male. Number two, you are too desperate for women's attention. Do you know that feeling when you're constantly checking your phone, hoping that special someone texted you back? Or when you go out of your way to do things just to get a girl's attention? If that sounds familiar, then it's a sign you're too desperate for women's attention. This can be a big reason why you can never be a Sigma. Being desperate makes you come off as needy and insecure. Imagine always trying to make her laugh, always texting first, or doing favors just to stay on her radar. It's like you're always on a mission to make her like you. And while it might seem like a good idea, it often does the opposite of what you want. Girls can sense when you're trying too hard, and it can make them lose interest fast. They don't want someone who's always available and trying to win their approval. They want someone who's confident and sure of himself. Have you ever heard the saying, you can't buy love? It means you can't force someone to like you, no matter what you do. When you're too desperate for attention, it's like you're trying to buy her feelings with your actions and time. Instead of being your best authentic self, you turn into a people pleaser who's willing to do anything for her attention. And that's not attractive or Sigma-like at all. When you're not desperate, you show that you're self-reliant. You don't depend on anyone else to make you feel good about yourself. You know what you want, and you're not afraid to go after it, but you don't need someone else's approval to be happy. This is a major difference between someone who is desperate for attention and a Sigma male. Being too desperate for women's attention can make you lose sight of your own goals and passions. It's like putting all your energy into a black hole that gives nothing back. You spend so much time thinking about her and what she thinks of you that you forget about what really makes you tick. This is exactly the opposite of what Sigma men do. Number three, you feel the need to constantly prove how good or smart you are. Have you ever found yourself in a group where you couldn't wait to share a cool fact or show off how much you know? Maybe you jump into every conversation with your opinions or you always mention your latest achievements. If this sounds like you, 
It's a sign you feel the need to constantly prove how good or smart you are. This need to show off isn't just tiring for you. It's tiring for everyone around you too. Feeling the need to always look smart makes you come across as insecure. If you're truly confident in your abilities, you don't have to shout it from the rooftops. You know what you know, and that's enough. People can respect that kind of quiet confidence. On the flip side, always needing to prove yourself can make people doubt you. It's like if you're always saying, look how great I am. They start to wonder if you're actually as great as you say, or if you're just worried you're not. One cool thing about staying calm and collected is that you handle criticism better. When you feel the need to always prove yourself, even a small critique can feel like a personal attack. It can make you defensive or anxious, and that doesn't show strength. Being able to take feedback in stride is a big part of having a Sigma personality. Someone who doesn't constantly need to prove themselves can take criticism without it shaking their confidence. They listen, learn, and move on. Craving approval and trying to impress all the time can also keep you from taking risks. You might stick to what you know you're good at just to keep looking smart and miss out on learning new things or having different experiences. That means you're not growing and standing still is the opposite of strength. If you're always trying to prove your worth, you miss out on just being yourself. People want to connect with the real you, not a version of you that's always seeking validation. Confidence doesn't come from needing to prove how good or smart you are. It comes from being comfortable in your own skin, mistakes, flaws, and all. Number four, you can't make decisions without consulting others first. If you can't make a decision without asking someone else first, that's a clear sign you can't be a Sigma. Think about it. Have you ever been in a situation where you wanted to choose something simple, like what movie to watch, but you felt the need to text three friends to ask their opinion? Or maybe you wanted to start a new hobby, but waited to see what others thought before diving in. If this sounds familiar, you're giving away your power to other people. When you're always looking for other people's approval before making a move, it shows you lack confidence. You're basically saying, I don't trust myself to make the right choice. This isn't how Sigma males operate. They trust their instincts and go with their gut feelings. They don't need a bunch of opinions to validate their decisions. Being indecisive can make you seem uncertain and weak. It's not just about big decisions like changing jobs or buying a house. It's also in the little things. People pick up on the fact that you can't decide on your own, and it might make them view you as someone who can't lead or take charge. Instead of seeing you as an independent thinker, they might see you as someone who constantly needs guidance. Consulting others all the time can also slow you down. Imagine always having to wait for other people's input before you can move forward. It's like being stuck in a traffic jam when you could be cruising down an open road. It limits your actions and your growth. Sigma males move fast and with purpose because they make decisions quickly and independently. What's even worse, constantly seeking others' opinions can lead to decision paralysis. You get so overwhelmed by everyone's thoughts and ideas that you end up not making a decision at all. Number five, you're too focused on impressing others. Worrying too much about what other people think is a big reason you can't be a Sigma. Think about it. Have you ever spent a lot of time choosing the perfect outfit for a party because you wanted everyone to think you looked cool? Or did you ever agree with someone just because you didn't want them to think badly of you? If you said yes, you're spending way too much energy trying to impress others. Sigma males don't do this. They really don't care if people are impressed or not. They do things because it feels right for them, not because they're trying to get attention or approval. When you're always focused on making others happy or showing off, you forget about what truly makes you happy. You can't be true to yourself if you're always molding yourself to fit what you think others want. Impressing others all the time is exhausting. You end up doing things that you don't really want to do just to get a thumbs up or a pat on the back from people who may not even care that much about you. It's like living your life in a way that's more about others and less about you. 
This makes it tough to figure out who you are and what you stand for. People can easily tell when you're trying too hard to impress them. Instead of respecting you, they might see you as someone who's insecure or fake. It's like putting on a mask. It hides the real you. And not being real is a far cry from being a Sigma male. Always needing validation from others can really hold you back. It keeps you stuck in a cycle where your actions are guided more by external opinions than your own beliefs. This is the opposite of the independence and self-sufficiency that Sigma males are all about. So if you find yourself always trying to impress people, it's pretty clear why you can't be a Sigma. Number 6. You can't stand being alone. Being alone is something many people struggle with, but if you really can't stand it, you can never be a Sigma male. How often do you find yourself needing to be around people just because being by yourself feels unbearable? Maybe you always need to text a friend, or you stay in those chat groups all day. That's because you seek company to fill a void. You're scared of facing yourself and your own thoughts. When you can't stand being alone, it means you rely on others to feel good. It's like you need someone else's presence to remind you that you matter. But true strength and confidence come from within, not from others. Sigma males are comfortable in their own skin. Whether they're with a crowd or by themselves, they don't need others to validate their worth. Alone time is when you can actually dig into what makes you tick and what you want out of life. It's the perfect moment to plan, create, and grow. But if you're always focused on being with others, you're missing out on that valuable me time. Needing to be around people all the time can also make you clingy. People respect those who are independent and can stand on their own two feet. Being alone doesn't mean you're lonely. It means you're secure in your own company. Being scared to be alone can also lead you to make bad choices just to avoid that feeling. You might hang out with people who aren't good for you or stay in toxic relationships because anything feels better than being alone. That's why finding peace with solitude is one of the most important traits of the Sigma male. It helps you understand your own needs and desires without outside influence. Mastering the art of being alone shapes who you are. It teaches you self-reliance and boosts your creativity. If you're always avoiding alone time, then you're not just missing out on becoming a Sigma, you're missing out on becoming the best version of yourself.